The promise of affordable housing is how Alberta is being sold to the rest of the country. And while economists say the population growth we are seeing is good news. The flip side, however, is that it's starting to put pressure on the housing market. So houses aren't being built fast enough. The lack of housing stock long term, dimming an otherwise bright spring economic outlook from the Business Council of Alberta, estimating only one house is being built for every three households coming into the province, which could erode the affordable Alberta advantage. So just kind of a simple supply and demand equation there, we're going to see some upward pressure on prices. And I think this is something that, you know, if we expect folks to continue to move for Alberta, and I hope that they do, we really need to actually plan for this. Construction costs and a skilled labor shortage have impacted development. Our, our members are building as fast as they possibly can, but we just have to be mindful that sometimes certain government policies can impact uh, business investment decisions. And Wednesday, Build Alberta launching a new campaign to call on all provincial leaders to work with them long term to keep Alberta affordable, saying right now there's no one housing ministry and regulation from one city to the next is inconsistent. Essentially just we're looking for that collaboration with government, that oversight and that ability to kind of work through partnerships um, to ensure that housing supply remains strong. As for the economy as a whole, the energy industry, farming and tourism showing positive signs, but the Business Council saying there are long-term cracks. While provincial affordability measures have helped, the benefits could be short-lived as Alberta sees slow wage growth compared to other provinces and business investment considered modest. And so that's why when you're looking at forecasts for Alberta to, relative to other provinces, yeah, we're seeing growth this year that other provinces aren't seeing, but we're really just catching up because we saw a harder hit at the outset. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.